Hello everybody, my name is Palm and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something I guess like a little bit different, it's a little bit you know, kind of like a little 180 from my usual content I guess because I feel like my content is more towards, has been really kind of like geeky stuff, kind of like nerdy stuff a little bit, I'm more like on the cartoon side. But this is just a react channel like and you know I, I like reacting to literally everything and my favorite stuff to react to um when it comes to like youtube specifically is reacting to like the weird stuff on youtube i love reacting to the weird videos on youtube um especially videos that are just so well done and i found um kane pixels that's the youtube channel i actually found it through markiplier i was watching him I was watching his video when he was reacting to the backrooms found footage, um, I think, which is has 17 million views right now. I think it's like the most popular video um, of this whole like backroom series that he has on his channel. Um, so, and it was really interesting. Like, it was really weird, really interesting. Just, and I don't really know what it was, but like, uh, it was an experience, and everything just felt like. It's so surreal and really eerie, creepy vibes, but it was just also interesting at the same time. And I just found out that he actually has like other videos as well. And so I checked his, um, so I checked, so I clicked on the back of his video and I found that he actually posted a comment to a playlist. And that playlist actually has uh, other backroom videos, back rooms, videos but like I guess in order so there's backrooms the third test first contact missing persons informational video and there's this one it's it's like I'm assuming it's March 11 maybe 1990 archive dot tar tar then there's the backroom sound footage so I thought it'd be fun to kind of like deep dive down this kind of like rabbit hole and just I'm gonna just I'm just gonna react to the first five videos. I've already seen the sixth video, but I highly recommend if you haven't heard of the Backrooms, this compilation, like this I mean this video series that you have to go check it out um, on your own. I know it's like really popular right now. It's kind of blowing up, and it's honestly really great work. And I highly recommend you guys go check out Kane Pixels um, and check out their channel. As always, I leave like all of the original video links in the description down below. So go check them out if you want to. Um, but yeah, all these videos are like pretty short, uh, except for informational video. So yeah, I'm really excited to do a deep dive into this. Also, um, quick thing here, I want to say thank you guys so much. We hit 4,000 watch hours. We got it. We are officially actually halfway to mon money. I call it, <laughs> I'm calling it monetization. I thought I, I came up with it on accident. But I actually think it's really funny and kind of ironic. <laughs> so I'm calling it monetization. Uh, so we are halfway, we're actually halfway to monetization because we also hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> Which I'm also really excited about. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for 500 subscribers. Um, yeah, it's been also all the recent support. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, so. If you are interested in seeing more of my content, like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN Research Facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system. Hold on, I see if there's subtitles. Oh my gosh, they have subtitles. Okay, sorry. Let's run it back because. That is kind of hard to hear. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN Research Facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. Details regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1980, I, I don't like that. Vice Director of the ASIN 
Foundation described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property construction and management. Ah. Ew. <laughs> Interesting though. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? What is that? Is that like a portal or something? Oh my gosh. Bruh, chill. Okay, what was that though? That was interesting. It looks so real. I like it. It's just, it looks, you know, it's like, well, I don't know. Do we know? No, I don't think it's like real right it's not it's not real but like it just looks so realistic interesting okay i'll just move on to the second one uh first contact is it like really sure they go by super fast okay same company async so they're all connected i wonder if i guess it all has to do with this magnetic field they're testing or whatever it is. I still don't really understand exactly what's going on. Hold on, wait, I have to read. Modifications, triple support beam on internal chamber 23A. Introduced um, plus 13 additional RF uh, cavities. Introduced, redacted into the redacted, replaced detectors 41 through 90. High precision beam now monitors for vibration exceeding. 90,000, whatever that is. Interesting. So I'm assuming this is, has to do with like the machine they're talking about in the first video clip, like the magnetic, whatever, whatever machine. I don't understand that part, to be honest. I have to watch that again. It looks so real. I don't know how someone makes something like this, though. I'm assuming it's not real, right? Now I'm thinking guessing myself, which is exactly what these videos are supposed to do. Make you so you can guess whether or not like what you're watching is actually real. Like, change your, like, perception. Which I love stuff like this. It's sick. Very eerie and creepy without actually, like, kind of showing you anything. Like, they nail the app. Oh, there it goes again. No, oh. oh, 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 that. Do I get it though? This goes so. Oh, okay, 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 so, and that's where, like, that kid ended up. If you haven't seen the first one, spoiler alert, whatever. Um, but that's where that kid ended up, was in that, like, 
dimension, like certain different dimension. And they're talking about all oh, this something obstructing. So there was that, like that monster that was like kind of chasing after that kid when he was in there. I'm assuming that should happen. They opened up some, they messed with something, opened up some portal, and then that's where it led to. So this is kind of like, this is like kind of like how it led up to basically the first video. Interesting. And then the next person one is missing persons, which is I'm assuming the kid. So the kid basically like I think he got killed or something. I don't know what happened to the kid, but it looks like um he didn't he didn't make it out. Either he didn't make it out of the room or something happened. I don't know. I don't actually I don't know if I watched the whole entire video for the first one, but I know I watched a good chunk of it. Interesting. Okay, moving on to the second video. Yeah, I think that was the kid. Yeah. Oh, there's more people, more than one. Oh, wait, I think I remember. There was running on the wall in the first one, right? So I think it was like, yeah, because that makes sense. There are more people there. Oh my gosh, two years old? This is very crystal clear. Really nice production. Reported missing person cases. Year 1987 to present. So it happened around the time that they opened that machine, which I'm assuming they just didn't close. Yeah, 1990, it's still open. Async. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's oh, it's still the same video. Oh, God. I thought it was over. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that kind of caught me off guard. Okay. Oh, those are the Async guys, right? I think I saw a logo on the back with their hazmat suits. I'm assuming they are assessing the... Th I guess they're doing research? Assessing the threat? Doing something? I mean, they work for the company. I don't know if the company is like a government program, I guess. But they don't seem to be going in there with any sort of weapons. So, <laughs> prayers for them. <laughs> but they have like a little rope line, which is smart. Go. Hold it. Oh god, what is that? I don't know. Ooh, if there's so many missing- Oop, oh, that's gross. There's so many missing persons, like, where are they, though? Like, do they, like, actually, like, get killed by the monster? Like, what? What happened to them? Ew, dude, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh my gosh, that's a person? This wasn't in the last report? No, this is- this is definitely me. Oh my gosh, what happened to that guy? Is that the kid? It's organic. Is some kind of fungus? I probably should have been listening to what they were saying instead of talking the whole entire time, to be honest with you, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, I was talking to not scare myself. Okay, informational video. This one's longer. I'm actually going to listen. Okay. <laughs> I kind of talk when I get scared a little bit. I kind of talk a lot. Welcome, Welcome to, the to the Project oh. TV31 Research and Development Team. In this short, informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. What is Project KV31? Project KV-31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The Machine, machine. The Door, The, the back, back Rooms, The Complex, oh. Hallways. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the async research facility is strictly prohibited. Oh, the threshold oh, oh. without guided supervision. Why would you want it? 
I mean, I guess you would, right? You open to a door to like Never an enter the complex another alone. like dimension, you All would probably want to go. Are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. Why only three? Whoa, this looks even better. I think they're doing it. Oh wow, that looks that looks even more like high def and clear. I like how like in different like times, you know, like in different like years, like the quality gets better. Like they're kind of matching the pace of it. I guess I guess he's like being realistic with like the time setting. Yeah, but well, that was two weeks ago. We're not going to be doing anything about it now. I mean, do you do really think that there's actually a thing in this situation? I mean, there's too many variables. Oh, uh, are there subtitles? I can't hear. Nope, no subtitles. God damn it, I, I can barely hear what they're saying. I'm going north. I can't hear what they're saying. Um. Dad, can you hear this? Ew. Ew. Where are your buddies? He said, guys, you hear this and nobody responded. Oh my god, sounds like a cafeteria school room. Hey guys, can you hear this? Hey! <laughs> guys. Oh. Oh. oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Guys. George. Morgan. <laughs> hey! That was interesting though. Oh, was this one? Like three hazmat suits still walked by, I think. It was this one. And he turned around to look at them again. Please stop looking behind you. Please stop looking behind you. Please stop looking behind you. Just look forward. I cannot do the whole switch switch. Ew, ew, ew. Why? 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 Ooh, those are people, right? I wouldn't go down there. That's pitch black. What are you doing? Oh, it's getting smaller. Why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? It's pitch black. Why? 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 Dude, why? Okay. Whose grandma's house is he in? Take that. Take that. Ooh, take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that. You went in there with no weapons for what reason? Take that. Take, 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 take. Brother, why wouldn't you take a blood chamber? An axe. Whatever that is.
the suspense is killing me, but it's really good. I actually love suspenseful shit. I think it's more scary than just like straight up jump scares. I feel like that's an obvious take, but I don't know. I wish you would stop looking behind, honestly. I actually hate it. Oh, what the heck? At what point do you just have a mental breakdown? Honestly. Please. Buddy, you're being- you, like, no. You're being fooled. You really think that's gonna lead you anywhere? He's still stuck, like, in the place. Like, there is no exit. He has to go back where he came from, right? Whatever exit is not actually an exit, because you're gonna still be in there. I'm assuming, actually. It could not be the case, but I'm assuming that is the case. I'm assuming that it's a one way, one, one, one way in, one way out. But if that wasn't the case, I'd actually be really interesting. That'd be really cool, actually. Hello? Multiple ways in. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Get out. Get out. Multiple ways in and out would actually be would actually make sense, right? Because it actually would explain how the other people ended up in there, right? Not everybody went through that facility to that, like, through that door, right? There has to be multiple ways in and out. So there has to be different doors. So that actually does make sense. Technically, he could probably find another way out. Alright, chill. Give me a break, please. I need a break. Come on. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. Um, it's March. I think it's March 11, 1990 archive. Please. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> like, I am sweating. My abdomen hurts so much. I was like on this. I was like doing um, on Monday. I was at the gym and I was like doing this like ab abdominal like crunch machine kind of like crunch in with like weights and it was just like uh I'm in a, I'm in a lot of pain right now my lower abdomen is so much pain but you know like not like bad pain it's just like a lot of soreness because like it's the first time I ever like worked out my abdomen before so uh, I'm in pain <laughs> it hurts to laugh but I ain't laughing through this, which is why I'm <laughs> why I wanted to watch this because I'm not gonna laugh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just do it. It's not really scary. Nothing really scary has happened. I think it's just the atmosphere. Like it's just like a creepy, like unsettling atmosphere, which makes it so good. Cause it makes it, it makes it seem like there's gonna be like a boo jump scare when there's like actually like for the most part. I feel like there probably isn't any boom jump scares. It makes it even more scary because I don't actually really know is there going to be a boom jump scare or not? Which makes it even more scary because I don't know what to expect. But I love horror stuff so this is fun. Is this the the back door? Back doors? Or is this the async facility? Oh, I'm assuming it's the async facility that we're seeing. the room that that guy was just in? Interesting. 
interesting. Wait, do they? Oh, wait, do they have an actual facility inside of inside of the place? Looks like they were like, oh, looks like they were actually monitoring mo monitoring that place. I can't read that. I don't know what that says. Null zone four. Oh, do they like actually map out the place? I guess it looks like it looks like they mapped it out. And now the music stopping is freaking me out. Oh, that's it. Okay, great. My gosh. That was fun. <laughs> that was really scary. I mean, I wouldn't say it's really scary, but it was just really just freaky. Really like freaky. <laughs> and creepy the atmosphere very intense um but it was it was really good very very well made like crazy crazy like the skills this person has is amazing i love it uh very very well made i'm very intrigued on like the story and i like it seems like there's like a really um really i guess well thought out you know, very like kind of full flow, kind of like structured plot, like, like I guess mystery to be solved here. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but like, it was like the, the story. I'm really liking the story. Like, there's very like, there's something here. It's very like interesting story here. I think that is kind of like leaves you to the imagine, like kind of like leaves it up to like the viewer to kind of figure out and kind of solve yourself. But it's like very very interesting. I'm also really intrigued by the theory that there are like multiple doors into that place because it honestly kind of would make that would make sense um well i guess i don't know exactly when the back rooms found footage i don't know what time like what year that video took place at yeah, this was like this like so this was in 1990 so i'm assuming the facility is probably maybe the facility was run down it's no more and they kind of just like left that door open and maybe the kids snuck their way in there and this old in that facility and ended up in that back room. I don't actually, I don't, I don't know, honestly. I don't actually remember the the video all too well, but I'm assuming that, I'm assuming it's just that like, there are multiple doors that lead into that place and that people got stuck and got snuck in there. It was really interesting. But as you can see, you know, they did not make it out. Something killed them, which is the thing that we saw in the, in the very first video. There were some really creepy, like, um, um, oh my god, what's that thing? What's that thing called? Like, siren head looking creature. Um, was chasing that boy, and I'm sure, like, he literally, like, we saw that he, the boy is dead, like, he, he got killed. And, but he looked like he was, like, charred or something. He, like he was charred or, like, he's on fire or something. Something kind of, like, decomposed, like, his body. And, ah, I don't know, but. This is like all the fun. I love watching this. I love watching the creepy videos. Not too creepy though, because I do get scared. Not too creepy, but I love watching like very weird, very well put together, well made, well producing videos such like this. It's on like kind of the weird side of the of YouTube. Um, not the internet. I don't want to get on the worst side of the internet. Just YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think in comments down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for all your support and for hitting these milestones. It's crazy and it's all thanks to you guys and your support. So I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this. Oh, um, follow me on my socials to see more of my face. And that's me for today's video. See you next time. Bye.